These are some of my last moments at home for 108 days. I'm fortunate to have a lot of things that I'm gonna miss. My family, my dog, just simple comforts of home. But I know that comfort can be a trap. It'll rob you of experiences forever if you let it. Alright. What's up everyone? It's half past eight, 18th of May, Friday night. About to get on my first flight. This trip for me is a four and a half hour drive from home to Adelaide. 13 and a half hour flight from Adelaide to Dubai. Two and a half hour layover, six and a half hour flight from Dubai to Venice. So, she's a mish. But, uh, and I'm just keen to uh, get this bit out of the way. I'm meeting Scotty and Liz in Venice and straight to the mountains. So I just said uh, goodbye to the old man. It's sad, gonna miss everyone, but uh, pretty excited. Just got to Dubai, it's 5.30 in the morning here. I'm fried. Scotty, and then we're out of here to mountains. Twenty, what's the time? Twenty to eight. Yes, I'll be back at twenty to nine ish. Uh, see you soon. Well, I'm here, and it is insane. I'm so <laughs> incredibly tired, but Scotty was coming out for a run, and I just had to come and get a look at it and get a bit of a taste. I don't know exactly where I am. I don't know how to pronounce it or anything, but it's just crazy. Right now I'm thinking of mum, because back home she'll be about to run her first marathon. Now make sure you smash that bloody marathon. <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting I'm actually doing it. I'll give it my best shot, Dan. Which sadly I had to miss, but I know she's, uh, she's going to kill it. I love you, mum. Passo Tricroci, we run there, and then we must sort of go around here, Lago de Miserina, and then this is Trecime. Oh, ha! It's Cross Glockner. I just woke up from the best sleep of my life. I feel so much better now. But this is our, uh, our apartment here in Caprile where we're staying and training for the next week. Uh, it's pretty sick here because we can access, well, we've got a car so we can, we can drive to Cortina. We can access the whole course from here pretty much, but uh, it's really close to the, the back half of the course towards the end of the race. 
this view here it's cloudy at the moment but it is insane I can't wait to go for a run today I'm chomping at the bit also mum smashed the marathon I just got a snapchat super proud of her it wasn't just a marathon either it was the Great Ocean Road Marathon which is 44 k's and uh, pretty hilly so she did an awesome job run espressoed up <laughs> psyched Scotty's been trying to explain to me where where we're going and where parts of the course are and that and I'm just I don't know I'm trying to figure it out <laughs> it's kind of confusing with all the names and stuff but bloody keen I can tell you that much What did you give that pizza, mate? What's the rating on it? <laughs> a solid nine, for sure. <laughs> Bloody good. They just did a uh, like a mix, mixed veggies, mixed veg on there, and chili oil, which I've never had before. It was friggin' lit. Super good. Morning. We are about to jump in the Fiat and hook back over to Cortina because Scotty and I are going to do a long run today. So we're going to basically run the first 40-ish kilometers of the Lavarado course, which is awesome because, I don't know, for me it's just so valuable to get on the course. It just helps me a lot on, uh, on the race day because I can visualize things, you know, I know what's coming, I know what I'm in for. So looking forward to it and by doing that first 40 k's we're only going to get up to like 1700 meters so we can avoid the snow because there's tons of snow around at the moment like 2000 meters and above so should be good i'm not complaining about that either because i always i remember from last year as well when i first get here it takes me a little bit to get used to the uh to the altitude because <laughs> i live at zero meters sea level so it takes me a little while <laughs> So we're done, 40 k's up. This is where we finished. So we ran from Cortina to Miserina. Miserina. And uh, yeah, 
struggled in some patches, felt good in some patches, but uh, stayed the course, got it done. Look at this. No points for guessing what, what we're going to do now. <laughs> Two days in a row, no regrets. <laughs> Solid nine, maybe 9.5. Can you say bellissimo? Show down the photo. Show down. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. So that's been the first few days. I've, I've been trying to think of words to try and describe it and I've just got nothing. It's, it's like it's not real life. It's, yeah. it's mind blowing to me that I can just be chilling at home, go and jump on a plane and travel to the other side of the world and end up here. It's crazy. But running's, running's been going good. We've managed to cover 60 k's of the course in the first two days. So that's, that's been awesome. I have been struggling a little bit though. Uh, three days before I left, I got a really bad head cold. So I've been just really blocked up and then flying made that worse. Altitude, whatever. <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm starting to, starting to feel on top of it now and I just don't even care because it's just amazing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I hope this video has been all right. I always feel like <laughs> I'm struggling to make a good, decent video while I'm traveling because it's just, just a bit different to how I'd shoot them at home and it's just always on the go. But I uh, feel like I'm starting to find a bit of a groove with it. But yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you the next one. See ya.